Hey guys, my name is Hugo Valentine Jr. and today we're going to be opening up three new talking engines. First up, Thomas, Annie, and Clarabelle. So as you can see on the back of the box, it does display the other two talking engines. Very excited to open this one because of the troublesome truck and how colorful that is. So yeah, this is Annie and Clarabelle with Thomas. Like I said, it is talking. Hello, friend. And let's get right into opening it. Now I find this to be so amazing because literally it has flashing lights, it interacts with the other two talking engines, and of course it talks. So that's really cool. And this Annie and Clarabelle is actually a different design than the other Annie and Clarabelle with that delivery set that they first released. So this is of course a new detailed Annie and Clarabelle for All Engines Go. Don't mind my crazy hair. Next we have Talking Percy, which has this new design of Harold with a gray face, which is, I don't like, but it's fine. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of the same thing as when they redesigned Jack to have a square face. But of course, as always, they have all the engines on the back, the other two talking ones. We just opened Thomas. So now let's open his best friend up. And we have this little coal thing that Harold can carry. So... Let's get him out of the box. Oh, holy shit, he just jumped out. I love delivering the mail. On my way. Why is he over here driving? Whoa. He should have said whoa when he flew out the fucking box. Look at this. Oh, I love these flat beds. They have so much detail on them. Oh, they have like little black dots, like coal, like coal stuff. Also, I love how this feels. This is really cool. I like how, oh. I never seen his full redesign. He has little doors. And then of course we have the coal. Lily coal. I actually don't know how he carries this. How does he carry this? I don't know how he carries this. I think I got it guys. Oh, there we go. I did it. Yay. You're able to flip it around, which is crazy. So it goes from um this little, uh, how do I get it back? This little stick to go on the flatbed, but then it turns into a hangy thing. So I could carry the, this, I don't think this is coal actually. This. It has barrels and stuff. Maybe it's steel and barrels. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, dandruff. I like how this looks. It's so cute. Whee! Oh, it fell. And last but certainly not least, oh. and last but certainly not least, the Nia talking, Nia talking, Nia talking. This is the one I'm most excited for because very colorful and the troublesome truck and this tanker, which looks really cool. So as always, she's number one. And then it shows the other two. So I'm just very excited for the Troublesome Truck, let's be honest. I just want the Troublesome Truck. Let's be honest, let's be honest here. Let's just open it now, now. Let's just open it now. Like, stop talking. <laughs> Everything fell. See, that's what happens. Oh my god, the barrels flew everywhere. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, ooh, paper. <laughs> I just broke everything. Shut up, Nia, shut up. This is actually the first Nia that I got with, you know, green stripes and not a factor error. Literally the first Nia ever that I got was the two pack, of course, cause they released all those all engines go engines just by themselves. And she had no stripes. Here we got a Nia with stripes, but she is special, special version. I also like that the back of all these talking engines are actually extended a little bit longer than the usual ones because they have to fit this in it, speaker and the microchip or whatever. And it's also crazy because they have the wires had to come out from the bottom, of course, because it's connected to this whole chassis and it shines a light on the front. I think, oh my God, stop driving. Anyways, so we have this lovely, lovely, lovely tanker. Do you, you could take it off? Oh, you're kidding. Can you take this troublesome truck off? No, okay, well, but that's crazy. What, why can you take this off? <laughs> I seen a little gap and I was like, what? Wow, so this is a flatbed too? Oh my gosh, they should make a lot of these can mismatch like the the little wheels or just have it out like oh my god look i could literally just have it as a decoration like a decoration on the side of the tracks oh my gosh come on come through come through guys anyways let me get the two barrels that fell over here they wanted to take off for no fucking reason 
Like, what was the point? Anyways, look at these two colored barrels, red and blue. <laughs> All we have to do is get green and a notepad to scream that green is not a creative color. So here we have the troublesome truck. My favorite thing I bought, my favorite, my favorite troublesome truck now, guys, sorry, bye. You, oh my God, you know what's crazy? I actually had a, I had an OC troublesome truck with paint splatter. So his whole like persona was supposed to be, he crashed into like a paint truck and paint just splattered all over his face. Actually, I think he was inside of him, I forget. But basically it splattered all over his face and then the paint was supposed to be permanent. And it literally is because he still has the paint splatters on his face. And I actually need to re-upload that episode because I uh, need to like recast voice acting because I like how the visuals were. I just didn't like all the voice acting in it and the sound effects. So I had to re-edit it. So they name it OC guys. Oh my God. <gasps> Red, blue and green and yellow. What the heck? Yellow guy? Anyways, I love this paint splatter Nia. It looks really nice. I also love the fact that the wheels are purple. Love that. That's my favorite color, so. And of course I love that. So let's check out the talking features on all these engines. As you can see, Nia comes with this troublesome truck covered in paint and also has two colorful barrels. This water tanker, which is very nice. It could literally be removed like I've shown earlier and a paint splattered Nia with a lamp on the front. Of course, Thomas looks plain, but we have this high quality Annie and Clarabel that is stylized and all engines go. It has open windows and these etches on the side, even the little ridges on the back of them, which is really nice. I love that they have all these details and they look very well. And we have Percy, which appears to be covered in bushes and stuff because of Harold taking off maybe. And this is, of course, Harold's new design and Harold's cargo, which looks to be a bunch of scrap, maybe. I think it's a bunch of scrap because we see a pipe, some barrels, and maybe steel. There are nuts and bolts as well. So here all three of them are in all of their glory. Of course you can see. reply to each other which is crazy they have a lot of interactions So yeah, they're obviously very, very high quality. I love them to death. They're so cute and I love all of the different rolling stock that we got with them, the designs. Of course, Nia is my favorite out of all three of them, but they all are very great in their own ways. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing and testing. Like, subscribe, and comment for more videos like these, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.